Alright guys, so now I'm going to show you how to update your iPad um, from version 3.2 which, let me just go like this, I don't know if you can see that or not but somewhere on there, it should say 3.2 right here and you're going to go from version 3.2 or 3.2.2 .2 doesn't really matter. Um, I would do it for 3.2.2 just to be safe, but you're gonna need a couple things. First is the 4.2 firmware for the iPad, which I have um, a link in the download description. It's from Mega Upload. Just type a little code here, click download file. The other one had loaded up for a while, so I figured the code wouldn't work anymore. So I just refreshed it. And then you're just going to say, please wait this amount of time. It's going to button. After that time goes up, it says regular download. And just click on download. And it is like 500 megabytes. So it's going to take a while. But mega upload is pretty fast. So 545 megabytes. Mine downloaded about 30 minutes. But um, it just went really fast for me. So then plug your iPod into your computer or your iPad. And here's mine right here. And. Um, Hold down Option and click on Update, or if it's checked for Update, click on that. That's if you're on a Mac. If you're on a PC, um, hold down Shift and click on it. Then find the firmware you downloaded, click on Choose, and then blah, 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 blah. click Update. By the way, this is the beta one, which is why you can't just download it straight from iTunes. And this is going to take forever to extract the software up here, and then it's going to say, like, Restoring and verifying all the other jazz. So I'm just going to pause the video and come back when it's done. All right, guys, I'm now back. Probably take about 10 minutes, <clears throat> and I did some other stuff in the meantime. So if you're looking at my clock, you notice it was far more than 10 minutes. That's why. And I'm now on version 4.2. So I don't know if you can see it or not, but, um, but also it's right here on iTunes, 4.2. And um, as you notice, I still have all my stuff down here. My music, videos, pictures, apps, and other stuff. Um, but some apps do not support the iOS 4 yet. Or maybe they have, I just haven't updated the app yet. So a bunch of my apps are not working. But um, a lot of them still are like, I have Solitaire on here, Facebook, Words of Friends, Weatherbug, and you know, iHeartRadio. IMDB. Um, th that is just some of the apps I've tried. So about 50% of the apps so far work, but as long as you have bought the apps from the App Store and have them all updated, and um, a good majority of them should work. Like, because most developers would release their app um, to work with iOS 4 if it didn't automatically already. So. But um, if you download them other ways and you don't have them updated, not saying that I have, um, like right here if I click on Pulse News, it's just gonna, sh the screen's gonna shake like it opens up real quickly and then it's gonna go away. But then over here if I go like Words of Friends H HD or something like that, it's just gonna load right up and go back to normal. And uh, it works fine. And then, um, I don't know if it's close enough up, close enough up, but then I also have a game center right there. And that's what a game center looks like, right there. And then, um, if I double click the home button, I get the multitasking down here, which I have a ton of apps open. But, um, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Thanks, hope you enjoyed the video. Please comment, rate, subscribe, and donate.